Hi, welcome back to the Grow Old Disgracefully blog. Today we're going to talk about men, men's mental health. We've already covered it a little bit and there's articles on our blog site. You can see the link below if you want to read about this particular vlog or another one. There's some great things on there. It always fascinates me how men are so willing to talk to me about any topic. Um, it seems to me in this generation it's so much more acceptable for men to be expressive, to go for therapy, to you know just talk to their friends and open up. You know, after all, at the suicide rate, it's the higher percentage is men. So it's great that they're talking. So this week, I've been chatting to a gentleman who suffers from depression. He's a manic depressive, and he helped contribute towards the article Living With My Mania. Great guy, really lovely guy. And from the outside, he just looks like he is high on life, happy as anything, an achiever, um, just buzzing, really buzzing, but it goes to show you don't know what goes under, on underneath the surface. You know, he's a bit like a duck. He's going around, bobbing around, and his little legs are underneath trying to keep him above the water. So his problem started when he was 15. I'm sure a lot of guys out there, if you're watching this, you can relate to some of this. And I'm sure there's women out there with partners that they're concerned about, that might have depression. You can most probably identify certain things about what I'm going to tell you. So at the age of 15, um, he just literally had this moment where it was sheer panic. He can remember he was at school and he suddenly realised he needed to grow up. He was no longer a child. And he was on his own, it was, it was him. I mean, yes, he had parents and brothers, but it was just a massive wake up call. So that sort of hit him like a brick wall and it sort of instigated a few little insecurities and concerns, um, a few panic attacks. Anyway, he tried to progress. He was a very good rugby player, so that really helped. And he was still very confident until about the age of 18 when it suddenly got even worse. The panic attacks got worse um, and they were getting very regular. Anytime he was in a situation where he felt pressured, um, he had to make decisions, it, it started to affect him just in everything. And sometimes it was paralyzing. Uh, he started to faint after a while. So he would get uptight about something, get anxious, have a panic attack and faint. And one time he did and he hit his head and he uh, explains to me how there was a time lapse where he can't remember anything about his history. He literally, for three hours, couldn't remember anything about himself. Um, and from that moment, every time he started to get anxiety and panicking, he was worried that, that that would happen. So all through his life, uh, he's approaching retirement now, he's had massive struggles um, physically and mentally. He had an injury when he was playing rugby and damaged his spine. The full details of his injuries and everything are in the article, it's really interesting. He damaged his spine and his neck and it got advised that he was having an operation. He didn't have it done and he really wished he had because there's some serious damage. He struggles with pain every day. So every day he's battling with insecurities, um, a fear of panic attacks and fainting, and the pain. And the pain has now brought on um, real uh, tense, intense depression. Um, he struggles to keep relationships because emotionally he's not stable. Uh, he steps away from relationships if it gets too much, if it's too challenging. Um, and he did go for help when it started to get too much. He was starting to try and have relationships and he wanted to marry someone, so he went and got help. Um, when it got really bad, they offered him medication, but he really didn't want to take the medication. So they managed to persuade him to do even more sports. So he took up running, cycling, anything that would just help take his mind off the mania, the, the highs and the lows. He would get very excitable and then go right down into the depth of depression. So um, many, many years ago, he found a woman that he wanted to marry. He had two children. Um, he carried on living his life with the ups and downs and he decided that his marriage wasn't working. Eventually, he had an affair, as did his wife, and they came to the agreement that they were no longer a working couple 
um, and that they should split up. Everything was put into motion, um, the man was going to live somewhere else and share the children and then one day the mum came home and said, no, I'm going, I don't want to share the children, I'm off. So he was left with the two children, um, no real home because he was sort of trying to sort of stuff out and, and nothing was definite. In the end, he just put the kids into the car and drove up north and eventually started a life for himself again. But he literally has dedicated his whole life to his children. And so his life has been filled with the normal parental stress, his own problems, his relationship problems, and it's affected his work. So now where he is, and I'm sure there's lots of men out there that can relate to it, he's in a... A, a stage of um, fear because his children have grown up they've got their own place and now he feels like he hasn't got that to deal with like he doesn't own anything now something to take care of a reason to be here and I've had that discussion with him he's had suicidal thoughts um, he's just sort of lost his purpose he's made some mistakes with work things have gone wrong financially, he's had to pay for things, so he's lost a lot of money as well. At the end of the day, he really is at a low point right now, and the only thing that keeps him afloat is the fact that he knows his children would be really upset if he wasn't around, and his sport, and two and a half years ago, he took up playing music. Um, he plays the guitar, and he plays it very well. But I literally had a phone call with him a few weeks ago and he wasn't in a good place. Um, but the best thing about it all is the fact that he knows, he can acknowledge the issues he's got. He's tr always trying different therapies. He's now gone into acupuncture for the pain in his neck um, and it's helping a little bit. Um, and he desperately wants to have a loving relationship but just can't seem to psychologically emotionally deal with the pressures that go with that he's met plenty of lovely women and uh, some of them he's thought were absolutely perfect for him but it's just not happened maybe he's not found the right one so his message to men out there of a, a similar mindset as him is to go and talk to someone he suffered for a long long time and he tried to fix himself a bit too much reading the books, thinking he knew what he was dealing with, la la la. So what he's saying is, go and get some help, um, listen to people, try different things. There's always something for somebody out there. Obviously jogging and riding his bike it was right for him. He had a motorbike, so he had the buzz from the speed of the, of the motorcycling. So find something, if you can, so you don't have to take medication, but there will be times where medication might help just a little bit of antidepressants just to calm you down um yeah so just take advice but the way he's surviving is through his music and his exercise and hope um yeah so read the article it's really interesting it gives you um a full uh, breakdown of his story um his feelings and there will be people out there that can relate to it. And I'm hoping that someone will read it or watch this and think, actually, yeah, my partner, he behaves like that. Um, you know, I'll, I'll read the article and see what I can find out. La, la, la. I can recommend CBT. I think it's uh, the Cognitive Behavioural Therapy. I've used it. It's really, really good. So I can recommend that. And you can always go to the NHS. They have... Um, a thing called Healthy Minds where you can get together in a group or you can do an online course that's really really helpful so that's it for today do read the article and I'm hoping that listening to this man's problems helps somebody out there thanks speak to you soon bye